Should you pay rent with a credit card? Okay, so look, some of you may not have known, but paying rent with a credit card is a great way for tenants to not get behind on rent. But I mean, come on, shouldn't the object in life be to not rack up so much bad debt? Not so fast. Now, some landlords accept credit card payments through rent collection apps, but then many tenants prefer using a third party service to make rental payments. Whatever the case may be, in this video, we'll be sharing exactly how to go about making rent payments using a credit card and whether or not it is a wise choice for certain renters. In return, we ask that you smash the like button down below and consider subscribing for more powerful real estate content. Paying rent with a credit card is a useful option for tenants to pay rent on time for whatever the reason may be. Despite the convenience of using plastic to pay rent, Many tenants and landlords shy away from credit card payments. For some landlords, accepting credit card payments is a hassle they don't need for many different reasons. Now, if you haven't already guessed, which maybe you shouldn't be doing if you didn't already know, normally accepting rent payments by credit card involves a processing fee ranging from 2% to 3%. At the end of the day, someone, either the tenant or the landlord, must pay those extra charges. Now, collecting rent on time has always been a key factor in being a successful landlord. After all, rent is your primary source of income, and a poor cash flow due to late or missed rent payments will severely impact your business. When you think about it, accepting credit card payments from tenants could be a way to help resolve some issues when it comes to getting the rent in on time. For landlords, what are the reasons to convince a tenant to pay rent by credit card? And once they're on board, what are some of the best credit payment options out there? Let's look at the benefits of paying rent with a credit card. Tenants can benefit from using a credit card by earning rewards, getting cash back, or taking advantage of a sign-up bonus. In some cases, having the option to use a credit card can help a tenant pay rent if they're in a tight spot. For example, the transaction fee is typically cheaper than a payday loan. Of course, a responsible landlord shouldn't encourage anyone to build a mounting pile of credit card debt, and using a credit card to pay for things a person can't afford, including monthly rent, can become a bad habit. But for some tenants, a credit card is a useful stopgap option to avoid missing a rent payment and possible eviction. Let's look at some ways to pay rent via credit card and if it makes sense to do it that way. Some of these options are handy from the tenant's point of view, while other alternatives are more beneficial for the landlords. Look for specifically designed credit cards for these exact reasons. Rewards programs on credit cards are nothing new. However, the new built MasterCard specifically rewards card members for paying rent, which is probably their most significant monthly expense. In addition to earning built rewards, there are no transaction fees to worry about. If as a landlord, you don't accept credit card payments, built will send a paper check to you. Now, some of these specifically reward card members for paying rent, which is probably their most significant monthly expense. Now, there are other benefits to tenants for using a rewards card scheme. For example, all on-time payments are reported to credit bureaus, allowing a tenant to build their credit score. Other rewards cards offer cash back to tenants, which can be helpful considering that the average monthly rent payment is around $1,500 a month. For example, Chase Freedom Unlimited and the American Express Cash Magnet are two examples of credit cards offering 1.5% cash back on most spending at the time of this recording. A tenant could earn around $23 a month just by paying the rent with a card. Another way that is rarely used but not uncommon when it comes to tenants trying to pay rent is using third-party companies. Now, several online options exist for tenants to pay rent to landlords, even if you don't accept credit card payments. For example, Plastic, Radpad, and RentTrack are just three companies that help facilitate rental payments. Typically, these third-party companies charge a transaction fee for every credit card payment. This averages about 3% on each payment. In addition, depending on the company, there may be charges for debit card payments or ACH bank transfers. Some rent payments companies also report payments to credit bureaus, handy for your tenants to boost their credit rating. These are some great resources for you to work with, and if you're enjoying the video up to this point, Go ahead and drop a like down below so we know we are producing valuable content for you. Now, what about online rent payment solutions such as PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App? 
Generally, these online payment systems are not recommended for paying rent. There is no payment protection if the tenant pays to your personal account. Also, a Venmo or PayPal business account slaps on transaction fees for every payment received. For example, Venmo was a popular way for landlords to collect rent. However, Venmo now applies a 1.9% transaction fee plus 10 cents for goods and services. That means Venmo is no longer a viable option for many landlords to collect rent for free. Now, there are also rent collection apps. Many of the best rent collection apps and property management software let tenants pay rent by credit card. The advantage for landlords is that apps for collecting rent online provide tenants with multiple options to pay rent. Additionally, the tenant pays in any transaction fees for credit card payments, not the landlord. Now, many landlords find that using a rent collection app encourages on-time rental payments. Tenants have a choice of paying by debit card, ACH bank transfer, credit card, or even e-check. Additionally, setting up an automatic payment schedule and sending friendly reminders can help ensure that your tenants are never late with rent. In addition to collecting rent online, property management apps often have other features for landlords. Processing rental applications online, accepting maintenance requests, collecting security deposits, and accepting flex payments via app can streamline your work. Now, all this sounds great, but what are the pitfalls of credit card payments? Of course, there are some pitfalls for tenants when paying rent with a credit card, and using plastic to pay rent isn't a viable option for everyone. Here are some of the downsides of using a credit card. Number one is high transaction fees. Many credit cards add 2% to 3% per credit card payment. These fees can add up throughout the year and can negate any credit card reward points. Number two is interest payments. Paying rent by credit card is only worth it if the tenant clears their credit card balance every month. Interest rates on balances can escalate fast if someone can only afford to make the minimum payment. This can land a tenant in heavy debt and lead to possible eviction. Number three is poor credit score. A high credit utilization ratio can negatively impact a card user's credit score. Constantly adding thousands of dollars in rent on a credit card can push up the ratio over the ideal 30%. Now there are many advantages for landlords if tenants have the option to pay rent by credit card. Tenants who can pay rent using a credit card pay rent on time, thus improving a landlord's cash flow. In many cases, the tenant also benefits because they can earn extra credit card rewards. All in all, if you are a tenant using a credit card, remember this. The goal when it comes to financial stability is to get rid of bad debt, which also means credit cards. However, if you approach it in a sense of leveraging credit cards to help benefit you rather than holding you back financially, the object will be to use your credit cards to pay the rent and then immediately pay it off in full every billing cycle or at least halfway through the month to avoid the pitfalls and disadvantages when trying to use this strategy. Now we hope you enjoyed this content and you now know the pros and cons of using a credit card to pay rent. If you aren't already subscribed yet, it takes two seconds and you'll get all of the updates when we post a new video. Oh, and go ahead and check these videos out. We have an entire playlist on exactly how to go about financing your next property, so you don't want to miss out on it. Until next time, friends, stay blessed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.